We're camping at a KOA for the first time. Are we gonna like it? Let's find out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We are on our 2023 summer trip. It's just Barb and I. On our way up to Ohio, we decided to stop at the Chattanooga North Cleveland KOA. This is my first time staying at a KOA. I normally stay at state parks, so this is the first time I've ever tried out a KOA. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Let's go check this place out and see what it's like. The first thing that I noticed when I pulled in here was that it had a really nice registration area and a nice pavilion and a pool. Not used to my campgrounds having a pool. I might have to take advantage of that. By the registration area and the pool are permanent concrete cornhole structures. Not going away with those bad boys. And then a nice playground too. And of course there's another shot of the pool. Here's an up close look at the playground with a nice picnic table for the parents to sit at. It says that the playground is for kids five to 12. My youngest son would have loved this place if we had come here when he was younger. Really nice. Barb apparently doesn't know that she's older than 12. She's breaking the rules and is probably going to get us kicked out. I hope not. They even have a playground for puppies. Nice little dog park area. With a sign like that, how could I not go check it out? Don't worry, he's fake. We never harass wildlife, especially when they're eating. And a nice little fishing hole to hang out at. Pretty cool place. They even have these cool camper cabins to reserve. Pretty neat. Here's a look at some of the back end sites. So a lot of the sites are pretty nice. You know, pretty standard. Pretty close to one another, no vegetation to block sight lines, but on all some nice sites. It looks like some cabins are bigger than others. And there's a restroom facility. This campground even has some tent sites, which are actually pretty comparable to a lot of the state parks I've seen. No water or electric hookup though, for the tents. And we found another playground. Here's a look at some of the pull-through sites. And another example of some back-end sites. And here's a look at where we're gonna call home for the night. Not a bad site. So guys, all in all, I guess I would say I'm really surprised. I expected the campsites to be right on top of each other with not a whole lot of space. And admittedly, there were a few sites in this campground that I would not want. But all in all, a lot of these campsites are just like the state park campsites of a lot of the state parks I've gone to. If you look at some of my campground and campsite review videos, you're going to see a campground that looks very, very similar to this. And guys, this is just an overnight stop for us, right? We are on our way to Ohio. Uh, We are going to be exploring Cuyahoga Valley National Park, 
uh, in Ohio. We're gonna be staying at Punderson State Park in Ohio. Uh, we've got a stopover beforehand in Dayton to see some friends. So on our way from Tampa to Dayton, Chattanooga is right in the middle and we just needed a, a, a place to uh, crash for the night. And I gotta say, guys, after a long day's drive and especially a drive through Atlanta, driving through Atlanta sucks. Being able to kick back at a place like this, maybe cook some dinner, jump in the pool for a few minutes, play some cornhole. Uh, we passed uh, uh, horseshoes. This is not a bad place. And especially if you've got kids to let them out, let them play in the playground, let them go swimming, let them ride their bikes around the campground. This is a great place to stay when you are road tripping or going somewhere and you need a night or you need uh, a couple of days or maybe uh, it's close to something in an area that you want to go to. Something like this isn't bad. Now, I don't know if every KOA is like this, but I can tell you when I'm looking for a spot to just crash for the night, I'm going to start checking out more and more KOAs. Now, I love my state parks. And I love to get out in nature and I love to tent camp and I love to, to, you know, get out away from people as best I can. But sometimes I just need to throw a blow up air mattress in the back of the cargo camper and crash for the night, which is exactly what we're doing tonight. And I gotta say, this is a great place to do it. This might be my preferred stop when I'm going north out of Florida getting past Atlanta, crashing in Chattanooga, not a bad place to stay. So for my first impressions of a KOA, guys, I, I really like it. Now, if you are an RVer, right? If you aren't really looking for that wilderness experience, you just need a place to park your, your, your travel trailer or your camper or your RV, something like this would be really, really nice. We're gonna, we're gonna cook up some SpaghettiOs for dinner and just chill out we got to do some work because we work on the road that's how we're able to take these trips but what a great place to do it it's not even all that hot it's it's uh it's early june and it's not even all that hot right now so so really really nice guys i'm really impressed i think you'll see me at more koas in the future that's just my opinion let me know what you think about KOAs. I would love to hear what you think about KOAs. Do you stop at them? Do you not? If not, why not? Uh, is this a normal KOA? You tell me. And if there are KOAs you love to stay at, also let me know that too, because I will put that on my place to stay when I'm passing through. So let me know, guys. This is a community. I want to learn from you as much as you guys learn from me. So let me know. Guys, Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take your kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. If you have any questions about this KOA or camping in general or a cargo trailer to camper conversion, whatever, drop something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Or you can hit me up at my other social media on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, or our website at campoutside.com. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. And if you've gotten this far, I'm guessing you liked the video, so give me a thumbs up. Guys, thanks for watching. Our next stop is going to be probably somewhere in Dayton, Ohio. We might go do some hiking. I know I'm going to probably go visit the Air Force Museum. And then after that, Cuyahoga Valley National Park. So don't miss it. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.